Hi guys, it's me, Professor D, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. On this video, I'm going to be covering hypomagnesemia. If you haven't already watched my video on hypermagnesemia, that's fine. Just make sure you watch it after this video. But we're going to be covering hypomagnesemia on... I had a brain fart. What was I going to say to you? Yes, I know what I was going to say to you. This is a very short video. I'm getting straight to the point. So please make sure you like this video now so you don't forget because you're going to love the video. Like the video now. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And don't forget, I have audio lessons available for you on my website, nexusnursinginstitute.com. All right, let's talk about this. So when it comes to magnesium, the therapeutic range is 1.5 to 2.5. Anything less than 1.5 is hypo magnesemia, just like anything higher than 2.5 is hypermagnesemia. But for this video, we're covering hypo magnesemia. So that is not having enough magnesium. Where? In the blood. Look at what it says. Where am I? Right here. Hypomagnesemia. This is low serum magnesium level. Now, look at what this says here. Clinically speaking, hypomagnesemia resembles <gasps> hypocalcemia. So all those signs and symptoms you would see in hypocalcemia, where you see muscle and nerve irritation, muscle and nerve excitability, you're going to see in hypomagnesemia. Just like if you already watched the other video I did on hypermagnesemia, you kind of notice those signs and symptoms with hypermagnesemia were the same signs and symptoms with hypercalcemia where you saw muscle and nerve relaxation, same thing. So with hypomagnesemia, you're going to see the signs and symptoms of hypocalcemia, uh, muscle and nerve irritability, excitability. So let's keep going. Nor muscular manifestations are common, such as muscle cramps, tremors, hyperactive deep tender reflexes, Chostec sign and Trousseau sign. And you guys got to know the difference between those two. Chostec and Trousseau's, we see them both in hypocalcemia, all right? Those are symptoms of uh, muscle uh, excitement, irritation. So Chostec, which starts with a C, that's when you touch a patient's cheek and they start twitching, right? So you can remember um, Chostec, cheek, right? True souls is the one where you're taking, you inflate that blood pressure cuff and you see the tetany, you see their hands start to spasm like that. That's their true souls. You absolutely have to recognize those clinical manifestations for hypomagnesemia and hypocalcemia. Let's keep going. Neurologic manifestations include confusion, vertigo, and seizures. Hypomagnesemia is associated with digitalis toxicity. Let's keep going. Mild magnesium deficiencies involve oral supplements and increased dietary intake of foods that are high in magnesium. So if the patient just has mild hypo, um, hypo um, magnesemia, what are we going to do? We're going to replace that magnesium with magnesium supplements and give them foods that are high in magnesium. What are those type of foods? Well, I covered those type of foods when I was going over hypermagnesemia, magnesium, I can't speak when I was going over hypermagnesemia as foods to avoid. But now that we're talking about hypomagnesemia, these are the foods you're going to tell the patient to ingest more of. What are they? Let's take a look. Green vegetables, bananas, oranges, nuts, peanut butter, chocolate. All of these foods are high in magnesium. So you're going to encourage the patient to ingest those types of food. So let's keep going. Um, besides giving the magnesium supplements, besides encouraging foods high in magnesium, let's keep going. If the hypomagnesemia is severe or if hypocalcemia is present, what are we going to give them? IV magnesium in the form of magnesium sulfate. Remember, we're giving it IV because it goes directly into the bloodstream. We don't have to worry about GI absorption or, or hepatic metabolism, right? It's going directly into the bloodstream. We're going to monitor vital signs and look at this. You better know this. I don't know why I, I don't have it highlighted, but make sure you understand this. Whenever we are giving magnesium sulfate, baby, believe Professor D when she tells you this, it better be on a pump. It better be on an infusion pump. Why? Rapid administration can cause that patient to go to cardiac arrest or respiratory arrest. So you better trust and believe you're giving magnesium sulfate. It's going to be on a pump. Got it? Okay, so last thing I'm going to go over before I let you go, let's go over the causes of hypomagnesemia. 
um, a big cause is GI loss. Fluids, GI fluids are very high in magnesium. So if the patient has diarrhea or maybe they're getting too much NG suction, that'll get rid of the GI fluids and cause them to be hypo mag. Is that a word? Hypo magnesemic? No, I think I just made that up. But it'll throw them into hypo magnesemia. What else? Chronic alcoholism. As I said in my other videos, chronic alcoholism causes nutritional and fluid electrolyte deficiencies, period. Prolonged malnutrition, that can cause patients to have hypomagnesemia, especially they're not ingesting the correct foods. They're not going to get enough magnesium in the system. Muscle cramps, tremors, seizures, hyperactive deep tendon reflex, trostex, trousseaux, increased pulse blood pressure. All those are signs and symptoms of what? With what, guys? Hypocalcemia. Remember, hypocalcemia um, causes nerve and muscle excitement irritation. There they are right here. Guys, that is your hypomagnesemia in a nutshell. This is the most important thing that you need to know about hypomagnesemia. Again, if you haven't watched my video on hypermagnesemia, please make sure you go back and watch it. Let me know what you guys think about this video in the comment section. Let me know if there's anything you'd like to see me cover that I haven't done so already. Don't forget, I have audio lessons available for you on my website, nexusnursinginstitute.com. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video and you guys will catch me on the next video.